name's Kim Pedritz and I'm sailing with TFWB Relentless in Division 8. We're a J29 and I'm sailing with my dad and my brothers as well as a fifth member um, who's flown in from California. So we're going to be doing the Chicago Mac this year. I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's a great event, really well organized and uh, let's hope we have plenty of wind. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Kim, if you could tell me a little bit about um, what you personally, you're an experienced sailor, so maybe tell me just a couple quick sentences about your own sailing experience and your highlights of your sailing experience. Sure. Um, I've sailed all my life. Uh, my, my parents, who were both big sailors, have done this with Chicago Mag many times. Um, it was one of my first offshore races, and since then it's kind of uh, spurred me to do many others around the world, including the Fastnet, which is off the coast of the UK, uh, to uh, cross the Celtic Sea and back. Um, done in Australia and New Zealand, done a lot of racing in the Great Barrier Reef, um, some offshore deliveries from Sydney to uh, the Great Barrier Reef, and then uh, actually transatlantic from St. Martin to Palma, Mallorca, um, and all different all different sorts of boats, um, also working with a 105 foot tramaran that's uh, breaking world records, so that's been really fun, um, definitely has its, has its advantages with speed, but um, Sure. And so, would you can you describe a little bit about the difference in your experience or preferences or anything between um, freshwater racing and ocean racing? Um, well, it, the Great Lake because it's uh, well, there's no it's a freshwater body. It definitely has its different uh, weather patterns. Um, it can be a whole different entity because it's it's very unpredictable. Even as we're looking at the weather a week out, every day it's changing, it's changing, it's changing. So you have to. Um, keep on top of this and um, even once you're out on that course and you, you think you have a strategy you, you still need to keep revising so that's not much different than, than sailing in open oceans but um, yeah it can be a little bit more unpredictable I suppose. Sure. I personally myself have two brothers Thanks. and I was wondering what it would be like to spend three days or however long it takes you on board with two of your siblings. Yeah. Well, it should be interesting. I'll be the only girl on board um, with my two brothers and my father. Um, and we've sailed together uh, out in Hawaii and around the world um, at various different times, but definitely not with Dad's boat. Um, and it is very, it's going to be confined, so it ought to be an interesting dynamic in, um, in that. But I think we'll have a blast, and family when we start, we're going to be family when we finish, and it's going to be fun. Sure. And then, do you have any tips for your fellow Mac racers by any chance? Make sure you have fun. And if you're not having fun, then find a different race. Because it's a great race to do. It's great to share it with the people that you're with. And it's um, wonderful to get up to Mackinac Island and enjoy that hospitality. So, um, yeah, I guess just make sure that when you do the Chicago Mac, you're having a blast. And um, share it with as many people as you can.